Hello students. So we are now on the second material of uh, the cost management system and we will be discussing here the rule no? as well as the uh, functional perspective or the functional areas when it comes to cost management system now in relation to management no now uh so let's review first before we go to the role and the functional areas in relation to cms what have we learned previously first we have to really apply the system approach why because this affords no a logical basis for the study of cost management in addition we learn the different subsystems no uh, in order for us to design and satisfy the the objective no that we made mention of because we have three objectives which relates to costing planning controlling and decision making okay with the subsystems that we we talk about and um, why the the system approach in relation to subsystem be critical because us cost um, analysts no you have to identify the problem and we have to solve the problem and let me do law aside from the identifying and solving we need to evaluate okay O kaya ginagamit natin yan kasi kailangan mong mag-identify, mag-solve, at mag-evaluate. Okay? Pagdating sa uh, performance no at the end in relation to the problems that you have um, experience with, with that of the problem. Kung, kung ganun yung pinag-aralan natin kanina, then... Uh, the role that you have to assume okay, will be very much dependent okay, on saan siya magiging dependent? On the objective. Okay? So, kung, kung planning ang function mo, ano ang kailangan mo dyan? Edi, you have to formulate Ano ipo-formulate mo? Actions. Kaya meron ka mga action plan. No? For you to achieve the goal. E paano pag-controlling? Pag-controlling, monitoring kayo. Diba? Kung, kung ang plan ay input, ang controlling part ng process yan. Kasi nagmo-monitor ka. No, it, 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 sabi nga natin, apat yung element niyan. Preventive, detective, corrective, and feedback element. Kasi, uh, make sure na you are able to implement the plan. Kasi dito, tinitingnan mo yung implementation ng plan pag sa controlling. O ano pa yung dulo natin? Siyempre, yung decision making. This would already be the output. Kasi ang um, um, major concern mo dito is pagpili. Diba? Kaya sabi natin, importante yung attitude eh. Pagpili mo doon sa mga options. No? Eh, kung ito pala yung, yung role, eh ma'am, lahat ba yan applicable sa all types and all forms of organization, yes. No? 
whether you are service type merchandising and manufacturing it would apply but your focus here will be manufacturing because it will give us a holistic view of the uh, application of the concept and the form will be sole proprietorship partnership and corporation of course it will be the corporate form that will be our focus why because this one has the legal personality okay so ano yung sinabi sa atin sa role we're done with the role the role is very much dependent on the objective and what you're going to to uh, assume will be uh, the functions of planning, controlling, and decision making. Okay? So, ano na yung susunod nating focus will be the functional perspective. The role you're going to perform will be dependent upon on the functions of management. Yun yung kanginang in-introduce natin. Operational, tactical, or strategic. No? Uh, of course, our, our, our subject matter, dito yan nag emphasize No? Ito yung emphasis niya at the strategic management function. But whether we like it or not, we have to start from the bottom going up. <clears throat> That's why the topics that we have, uh, we look into operational tools and techniques. Uh, then we'll go to the tactical and then your strategic. Because your uh, cost management information has to develop uh, information that we need to use in implementing the organization's strategy. Okay? E ang tanong yan, dahil ang gine-generate natin information, no? Quantitative lang ba? No? Financial. Okay, class. Quantitative lang ba yung information na binibigay natin? Yes. Eh, what type of quantitative information? The first one is financial. The second one is non-financial. Ha? Huh? Ma'am? The subject matter natin? Hindi lang financial yung iti-take up natin? Could di pati non-financial? Yes. Why? Let's to, uh, discuss ano yung sa operational. Pag operational, ano to? Very objective ang klase ng decision na gagawin mo. Kasi, ang information dito ay, ano, uh, quantitative. No? And the type of decision that we're making here are program. Ito yung highly computerized kasi pwede mo i-convert. O, pag tactical, Ito na yung, you have to, uh, a mix. Kaya nga gitna siya eh, diba? O kita nyo, gitna. Ibig sabihin, two-timer. Sinasatisfy niya si operational. Sinasatisfy niya pa si strategic. Diba? O, dala-dalaw yung sinasatisfy niya. Mm. Kung ito yung, ay, nabura ko na. Mm. Um, Kung ito, yung uh, strategic yan. Yung sinasatisfy, then, mix to. Diba? And then, yung strategic nyo, uh, ng program. Kasi, dito, yung type ng information mo, highly summarized na ito sobrang detailed no and the uh, uh, strategic subjective kanya syempre ob operational objective 
as strategic subjective because uh, it would not only uh, consider financial information but also non financial information no uh, because you have to consider the external factors not only the internal factors okay eh dito sa operational ano ang makikita mo cost revenue di ba o oh, eh pagka sa tactical ano na ang titingnan mo um pricing eh, whether you like it or not pag tiningnan mo yung pricing titingnan mo yung client mo eh pagka sa strategic anong tinitingnan nyo you're looking at uh, key success factors di ba you're looking at quality you're looking at retention no so in and and these are non non financial in formation or oh, they can we go now to the functional perspective yes we can kasi nat alam na ninyo kung ano yung focus ng operational tactical and strategic now we know that uh, in the organizational chart of the or of the firm no we have the controller we have the treasurer both of whom are under the CFO okay and dini discuss natin ito yung under the controller kasi dito maga under ang cost management dito maga under ang uh, financial reporting okay and other reporting obligations so eto sa cost accounting di ba eto sa financial accounting okay now o di kung we're looking at the different functions of management so alam niyo na yung sa organizational chart ha asan yung role this is under the uh, controller's function kasi yung treasurer ito yung pinag-aaralan niyo sa finance okay kaya may mga subject din kayong financial management financial market at saka valuation kasi para maintindihan yung treasurer function. Eh sa controller napakadaan yung subject diyan, 'di ba? So, looking at the functions, okay? O di kaya gina introduce ko na sa inyo yung mga keyword, 'di ba? Sa bawat functions. O di ano yung pag-aaralan natin? Uh, pa pagdating sa 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 functions o di na una yung planning ano yung uh, titingnan natin diyan uh, normally dito po mapasok yung information needed to support recurring decisions okay and this this would look into uh, decision on materials uh, in terms of purchases and we, this would look into uh, production scheduling which would affect your labor uh, your your uh, scheduling of equipment no then also you have your pricing as well as these are merely sample no budgeting and how about the control aspect okay when you talk about the control aspect this is when uh, the cost management information will be needed for you to have what or to provide what are you providing an effective basis of what for you to be able to to identify if there is uh, inefficient operation so dito ang tinitingnan mo effectiveness and efficiency kasi monitoring nga eh kasi you, kaya dito di ba meron kayong responsibility accounting di ba kasi dito uh, you have to look at reward system and motivation no 
sa sa control control aspect. Kaya yun yung pinag-aaralan niyo diyan yung isang sample diyan yung responsibility accounting. Pwede din dito yung budget, yung 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 variance analysis, di ba? Yan. And for the strategic level, uh, the cost management information now will be ito yung mga non-recurring decisions. Okay? Kasi dun sa planning, recurring decision. Ang strategic non-recurring decision. Why? Kasi you are looking at the choice of product. No? Kaya pinag-aaralan nyo yung capital budgeting. Yung mga manufacturing methods. Abe, pwede bang mayat maya na lang, babaguhin mo yung manufacturing method mo. Pagka ba naman ikaw pumili ng produkto mo, pwede bang basta-basta baguhin mo na lang. Siyempre, Uh, these are long-term issues. Kaya nga tinawag na strategic. Okay? So, you are developing, uh, you would like to develop, formulate uh, uh, a sustainable uh, competitive position. Kaya, kaya gumagawa kayo ng uh, strategic, uh, ano, uh, strategic plan. Yun, di ba yun yung noon na pinag-usapan -pinag natin. Kasi nga, You are you are trying your best to maintain your competitive position, okay? So, yung palayon, no? Yung role at yung functional perspective. Na the effective measures to be adopted by the organization is critical, no? for their success. Okay? Uh, dahil, ikaw, bilang analyst, no? uh, should be well-versed with uh, the different factors affecting your, your, your organization. Kaya later on, will be... Uh, The, the the cost analyst no should also be well versed with the factors affecting your cost management system okay so thank you for listening um ano yung ating experience uh, point dito eto yan what are the factors affecting the cost management system or and and uh, what are now the trends thank you and good day